there's lots of aerospace jobs out there, but there's not a lot like this. We're designing a plane that doesn't exist yet. Hi, I'm Clay Pierce. I'm the Director of Structural Engineering for SkyDweller Aero. Right, so the goal of SkyDweller Aerospace is converting the solar impulse airplane from a piloted manned vehicle into an unmanned aerial vehicle system uh, that's going to be used for both commercial and government missions and with the goal of being able to fly mission cycles up to 90 days in duration. Hi, my name is Austin Saunders and I'm a hardware development engineer at SkyDweller. My role as a hardware development engineer is to primarily design printed circuit boards that are parts of different functional aspects of the plane. Structural engineering in aerospace is basically creating the skeleton of the aircraft. Uh, it's the bones that hold the rest of the aircraft together and hold it up. The pilots are the guys who get all the, the press usually, but there's, you know, people who work with their hands, there's mechanics on airplanes, there's people who work with their brains designing, you know, the electronics, the structural components of them. So there's a lot of different areas you can work in. So we chose Oklahoma City as the global headquarters for SkyDweller. Really, if you go to the state level, uh, there's been great leadership in the state for aerospace and really the aerospace is growing industry in Oklahoma. It's been around for a long time, but it's definitely seeing a surge in growth and we wanted to be a part of that innovation. The most exciting thing is that we're designing something new and on the cutting edge. I mean, there's lots of aerospace jobs out there, but there's not a lot like this because we're, we're working with like solar power technology that's being researched everywhere right now. And we're, we're designing a plane that doesn't exist yet. The type of training you would really need to be or could be helpful at SkyDweller Aero would be not only the traditional STEM, the math and sciences, but also any type of hands-on activities or training you can do. I've always found that an engineer with a background with hands-on applications, whether that be automotive, career tech, private pilot, anything like that, those type of hands-on individual skills really make you a much better engineer and you can really integrate into the into the workforce much better and then once you're there you have a, a very logical approach to some of the designs and it, you tend to be a much better engineer once you've got that type of background. If I was talking to a student in middle school I would I would probably say learn how to work with teams of people and and be curious about how things work you know don't give up when things get tough because a lot of things don't work the first time in, in the things we're designing either, but you just have to keep pushing along.